Mm-hmm. Well, as someone once said, that's one hell of a pilot. So, oh, this is going to be my reaction and thoughts on the first episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch. Hatch, man, I definitely want to keep up with the other ones like I did with the Marvel shows of air this year as well as, as last year's final season of Clone Wars. The Filoni version, they finally put the Tarkovsky version on there. Here. Here, so... Oh. It's... The title is fitting and has multiple meanings to deal with you know, the fallout from the end of the Clone Wars, the beginning of the Galactic Civil War. As well as the... As, in general, the fall of the Republic and the Rise of the Empire. With... And not just the Separatist Alliance falling and the the clones now potentially being replaced by high, high conscripted forces of the Empire as part of Quest Admiral Tarkin before it gets promoted to Grand Moff. Moff, I mean, this leaves the titular Bad Batch, Hatch, Hatch Hunter, Crosshairs, Tech. Wrecker and Echo alongside a new companion and known as Omega to determine their place in the galaxy. Hey. And I'm gonna be as as spoiler free as I can and only gonna bring up details when they're relevant to the discussion of this show. And this is actually one of several little bits of content they've dropped on this May the 4th with more still in development to come, both theatrically and and on Disney Plus, so I guess we'll definitely see how that goes. I always mean always considered. So many any of the cast and crew return in this series, and I gotta say, after seeing those characters in the last season of the Clone Wars. I could definitely tell, and they were certainly among my favorite characters, so when I heard about how them being featured in their own spinoff, I was already on board, or I mean, just the prospect, and I definitely was expecting like, seeing this premiere to be featured length, I mean, being about 75 minutes long, on at least his three episodes of the show worth, I mean, and I must say it does a good job of setting up the new status quo, Oh, and the conflict at hand has only driven a wedge between Hain, Hain their him and their leaders, but also each other. I mean, I mean, especially interested to see how how this dynamic plays out over the course of the series, since this is going to see like the first five episodes this month. I mean, I didn't look up how long the season would be, but using the final season of the Clone Wars a yardstick. Given how it's already planted the seeds, seeds of the events that happened in Rebels, the sequel trilogy and Resistance to Review, and also in Rogue One. I mean, I don't have to see how it plays out, given how it's already rife with, with Easter eggs that, as a long time fan, like, because I understand. And. But. Even someone who's relatively new to the series could instinctively understand, and that's that with the change is happening, given how this audio is running parallel to the events of Revenge of the Sith, Hith, and right before the events of New Hope as well, how the 19 years before the events of New Hope. So it's definitely a a, a story they can go back to, oh, and keep building upon. I mean, I'm one of those rare people that has not seen a main from the dislikes, but but there have been other spin-offs that have been better than others. I mean they also put those insane Ewok ones they did. And I mean I can only imagine if they're doing that today they'd probably be using Grogu or the Pork, something kinda of like that. I mean that so basically a it's definitely going to be something I'm going to keep following. Hain. Hain. And don't worry, it's not going to affect my other videos. Hers for her 
for the near future, especially not for this month. I'm still already got my next Pocket Monday heading for the over 25th anniversary in mind. I'm next on the moon vlog. And definitely will I still will have my first impressions of new Pokemon Snap uh, by before this week is out, and I will definitely talk to you all later. Mm.